Hey guys, it's Mike with Fish Hunter, and today I'm going to show you how to use shallow water mode. Uh, right now I have on the end of my line the Fish Hunter Pro, and I'm on off the dock here, and I'm just going to cast this into the water here. It's fairly shallow here. It's only about five to sort of eight feet on the edge of where I have the Fish Hunter. On my arm here I've got the waterproof bag to keep my phone protected, give me a strong Wi-Fi signal to the Fish Hunter in the water. And right now we're going to zoom in a little closer, I'm going to take a look at the screen, I'm going to show you how to choose the right settings when you're trying to get into shallow water. I've thrown in the water, so the first thing you know you want to do is go into your Wi-Fi settings and make sure you're connected to the Fish Hunter Pro. You can see i got a check mark here, got a nice strong signal so I'm connected. Once you're connected in your Wi-Fi, you can leave your Wi-Fi settings and go directly into the Fish Hunter app. You can go into the sonar section and then you're going to choose the sonar you have. I have the Pro, so that's why it's highlighted. I know it's connected because it has switch device, which allows me to switch and disconnect this specific phone from the Fish Hunter so somebody else can use the Fish Hunter, so I know it's connected when I do that. Clearly I'm going to choose start fishing, I'm going to choose the fishing button and then you're going to see this little menu come up here and this is your chance to either select auto where that allows our fish hunter algorithm to choose the right power to put on the transducer or you're going to override that and you're going to use shallow water mode. Shallow water mode's great when you're in less than 10 feet of water. You're going to see that what's happened now is it's highlighted this bottom box where I can actually manually set the power on the transducer myself. If you're in less than 10 feet of water, you're probably setting one is going to be good. The deeper you get, maybe to 15 feet, uh, or if the water is kind of silty, you're going to want to change the power. I'm going to start with one because I'm in pretty shallow water here, shallow conditions. I'm actually only in four feet of water right now, and you can see the display building on the other side. As you guys know, you can just zoom into your display by using your two fingers. So you can get that bottom, you know, right down to the bottom of your screen and take advantage of all of the screen real estate. So clearly there's 1.6 feet here. You can easily see I can get into a foot of water here and get really great results from my Fish Hunter floating sonar. If you are moving across an area you want to change to the depth and the power, then all you need to do is pull out the side menu. You can manually adjust the power slider power itself and you can also change the surface filter or the fish sensitivity. Watch what happens when I just take it from one to three or four and watch what happens in the display here. You're going to see that I'm putting way too much power in the water now. I have a whole bunch of extra power that it's trying to read so it clears up and produces a very messy sort of display. So to get out of that again you just take it down to power one. You're going to see it cleans up immediately and gives you a nice clean reading on whether or not there's going to be a fish in that water and it's worth your time here to, uh, to cast the uh, rod out there and uh, see what happens. So hopefully this gives you a good demonstration of how you can use shallow water fishing mode with the Fish Hunter Pro.